Well, what if I told you that we now realize that the plastic touching food can shed the plastic itself as microparticles into the food, and then we eat the food. And okay, we've known this for maybe more than a decade. Maybe there's little plastic particles uh, that come off, but you know, hey, there's no harm, right? We, we haven't been able to discover it. I, I used to say that. Now, just within the last few years, we're beginning to pinpoint that number one, it does, plastics can actually embed themselves in our body. We even know where. We also know that these plastics uh, are associated with inflammation. That is a big red flag. The klaxon alarm should start going off. And third is that the volume of plastics that we're consuming is crazy. There was a study that came out recently that showed that in normal autopsies of people that didn't die of a brain problem, that when they were doing the autopsies and looking for plastic, that we could find them. And the amount of plastic that was found in the average human brain is about the amount you'd find in a typical plastic picnic spoon, just distributed throughout the brain. This is like a normal, it's a person who's died of something else. Wow. Does that mean that, you know, like you and I are actually, you got a plastic spoon worth of plastic in our brain? There's been some people that calculated, and this has been, the actual calcul the math has been challenged, but there was an estimate that, you know, some people might consume as much as a credit card's worth of plastic every single week in their food if they're not careful about it. And let me just tell you where we're finding microplastics. And, you know, I want to get to the point where we're talking about the healthy foods that can actually turn the ship around. 